know when to go, guys. All right. So, Alex, tell us what happened so back in 2021. Is, yeah, this is the spot where it was August of 2021. I was with another researcher, and we were out here just literally just a transit night. We were camping here. Our tent was like right here. So in between these two tents, it was it was that tent that's right behind you guys. Um, so that this one, this one right there. So you can turn back the and keep going. But that that tent, we did not have a rain fly because it was a beautiful summer night. And like being August, you cannot see three feet in these woods how thick it is. Um, you can just keep it on me, Luca, with that one. But uh, so we had the tent right here and. The night before, we had put up a pheromone chip in the woods right in there. Just kind of hung it in there. I, I waltzed in because we showed up at night when we got here. And then I walked up and down this road to get into here with a wood knocker and just hit all the trees on the way down and then all the trees on the way up. We were like screwing around. We were on our way to Lake Champlain, so we weren't even really interested in being here too long. So we woke up that morning. It was about six in the morning, actually. I heard what sounded like three knocks. And that kind of woke me up and I kind of sat there in a half haze, like thinking, okay, what the heck? Didn't think much about it. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes later, the person I was with got out of the tent, went to use the bathroom, came back. We both heard a knock. They turned to me and said, did you hear that? I said, yeah. And we kind of proceeded to listen. Now, again, we didn't have a rain fly on. So I'm, I'm laying, I was right here. I'm laying this way and I'm kind of sitting up and I can see through the tent and we start hearing what sounds like things being thrown towards us right in this little patch of wood right here is kind of where it was landing and uh, you could see from up on that hill the leaves parting and it was almost i've always described it as an arch pattern the way it was kind of falling um and it was we couldn't even find the object it was that thick if there are rocks or sticks or something but they were falling with a lot of force and so we just kind of sat there and i don't even know we filmed maybe a little bit but we were just kind of stunned it kept going it happened seven or eight times and then it stopped and then we got out of the tent and we just basically pushed into the woods right over there started walking and heard like another one or two kind of objects but by the time we got up there there was nothing i mean and the, up there it gets into like a pine needle forest you can see the green on the trees up there it's like a pine sort of a pine forest so you can move hypothetically really quietly through there we were pretty shocked and perplexed at the time we did like a whole assessment and then we had to leave because we had an obligation in New York. So that's, again, we were just camping here just on a transit. So it was kind of on a whim. It was really weird. I don't know what I can say. I mean, the, the knocks and hearing the things being thrown, it's a little unusual. I don't know if it's because I did the pheromone chip and the, the knocks on the, the night before. I mean, I can really only guess. We tried to think if it was squirrels. I mean, if there was something knocking stuff out of the tree, but there were so many and it was so loud because you could hear squirrels in the trees but all morning pretty much but i have the audio of that because we had an audio recorder up all night so that audio is really clear because the audio was right in the tent or right near it and the stuff was all falling right basically beside us i mean and it was and, and at least two or three of them that i saw did that arch pattern thing from up in that direction we came back in october of that year so a few months later and did a recreation and the person doing the recreation couldn't even get the the distance from up on there i mean it just it wasn't it didn't seem right so it was really weird but that's why we kind of came back here and i really like this location now before the leaves have set in i think it's a cool place to be um we've got a bunch of us so i think it'd be awesome to try some stuff out here but that's what happened i mean i there's nothing visual nothing else visual we didn't find any tracks nothing like that we searched the area there was pretty much nothing else except for that initial kind of shock and we were sitting there in the tent because you're kind of you're like stuck in this slow motion moment because you're kind of like is it gonna happen again and then it keeps happening and it, it, it was only maybe 20 30 seconds between each clip i mean or each um each sound falling you know when i listened to it on the audio did you hear that was yeah that chewy now yes. now that came from down in the I, yeah in the did river you gorge that? you didn't hear that it sounded like a gunshot though could have been could have that was kind of weird though I, I don't want to, you know, we're, we're... It sounded like something crashing. Something on the brain, but yeah, that's pretty much all. There is again. Questions there is again. It's guns. Guns? Guns, yeah. It could be there's some properties up over that mountain over there because <clears throat> they're, they're higher up. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, I mean, that's pretty much all I can recall from that encounter. It was just a weird series of events. Could it have been a normal, explainable thing? Sure. 
I, I'm not saying it was Sasquatch, but it was just very weird because of the stuff being thrown. So, well, especially seeing the pattern of what happened with the leaves. You just and if, only if a squirrel, if something is gonna drop straight. That's down. what I would imagine, and you can hear it sound in the audio. <coughs> it sounds like it's coming from further away initially. That's what was kind of weird about it. And it was way too loud to be something like a pine cone. Like you that guys was, have heard the audio. I yeah, heard the per- audio, man. That's something. I think all of us have. Hitting the leaves as it's going yeah. through the path. And I wish we had video. I mean, we did like a short video clip at the moment. But we just were so caught off guard, and we didn't have much film equipment. We weren't filming. We were just literally camping on our way to another location. Like, this was just a transit spot. You had actually told me about the spot, Luca. That's how we even came here. And I was I fell in love with the spot. And I've camped here twice since and not had anything happen. Actually, once. I've only camped here another time. This is my third time. We camped down at that other spot on the river another time before the Whitehall Festival back in 2021 also. And we didn't hear anything because you can't hear anything down by the river. No, no, it's too. Loud. You can hear the river down there, and it's flowing pretty good. We yeah. got the snow coming off the mountains, but yeah, that's what happened. Take it or leave it. I mean, that's that's the reason we're back in this spot. I'm really excited to be back here. So um, I guess we can only see if anything will happen. That's pretty much it. Best of luck to us, Chewy.